This is my 30th anniversary edition grave digger. It's got all the lights and everything. Um, I've taken it off and just hung it up so I don't damage the body. It's got a few small scratches here and on the top, but I bought it like that so um, I didn't want to damage it anymore. There's no cracks or anything. It's in beautiful condition, but anyway, that's my body. And uh, as you can see, that's the grave digger. I've uh, converted it to the brushless system. It's got everything the VXL has, all metal turnbuckles, all VXL turnbuckles. Um, it has the front tie brace on the front. And it has the, instead of the VXL, it actually has a Dynamite 4000 KV. It's called a Taser 4000 KV and the uh, Taser ESC. It'll do up to 3S LiPo. Um, I just painted the body here. I um, wanted to show you guys. It's pretty cool. It's kind of old school. It's a 72 Chevy C10. And uh, pretty much kept it the way you would old school. Um, even some cool stickers on the back window. Just to kind of, that's how we used to do it back in the day. And then in the back. And uh, this body is, it changes colors depending on where the light hits it. Let's see if we change the angles here. If it changes, but it changes from purple to blue. And it's supposed to have a teal orange to it too. So um, that was something the guys with the Mustangs used to start doing. And I think some of the Camaros back in the day. And this is the paint I used. It's called Spaz Sticks. It's a... Um, Part number 05209. It's an orange slash purple slash teal color change aerosol paint. Got it at my local har uh, hobby store. And uh, I use this Tamiya color black to uh, cover the bottom. And then I put a rubber undercoating underneath it to protect the body. Um, so we'll see how that works. I've never done it like that before, but I was reading some things on uh, YouTube Saw some other people and so this is what it looks like It's got a rubber undercoating. So it's kind of like a rhino liner type idea Hopefully it'll uh, make the body more durable. This is a pro line body and um, what I've done is um, I'm still using the monster jam um, motor mount or body mounts, excuse me and uh, I'll show you how I did that it's still wet. I just finished painting it literally. Getting all the stickers on and the rubber coating needs 24 hours to cure. So, um, But anyway, I'm using the Monster Jam mounts. And what you do is you just take the screws out here in the front and you just rotate these. Uh, oh, actually, no, you don't. You leave the front ones just like exactly the way they are, come to think of it. Um, I forgot about that. So if you wanted to use the stock mounts, which the Proline does have the stock mount holes right here. You can see a little dot there, but they're not pre-drilled. Um, I like to move them in more, that way you don't crack the body, they have a tendency to crack on the sides by the fender here, and they seem to be a lot more durable um, if you have them inside. So I kept the front motor mounts, or excuse me, I keep saying motor mounts, body mounts, exactly the way they would have been for the Monster Jam, but if you wanted to use the stock mounts, you can take the little screws out here in the front right here, and uh, you can rotate these out this way and they'll actually fit a stock body. And then if you look up the part number, I think it's 3619, which is actually the part number for these. They come with a different um, slide mount here. You can get the normal slide mount, which is for the Monster Jam, or you can get, um, it comes with another one, which will actually fit the stock Stampede body, and it comes out further. But I decided to keep this because I like the support of this bar here. Um, and what I did was I dropped it down to the second to the last hole, but it has some clearance issues where it likes to hit this cover here. So I just chopped off the uh, the mounts down here equally, and uh, and I'm getting it to sit um, just the way it is. It sits really nice. I would show you guys how it sits, but unfortunately the body I just painted it and I gotta let it sit for 24 hours. So, but it sits really nice on there. So. I'm really happy with it and uh, I believe that these mounting um, setup is much better than the stock stampede setup because like I said you have a problem where when they're this far out on the edge and you hit something they'd like to crack right here at the fender 
um, and then in the back same thing they break up here so I've drilled these um, myself so you can see I've got my own drill holes and then we just didn't drill the other ones that's the nice thing about ProLine is they don't pre-drill them and also they don't pre-drill an antenna hole so if you're doing it with a 24 megahertz um, system or gigahertz excuse me whatever it is megahertz gigahertz I don't even know <laughs> anyway the antenna is hidden underneath uh, the body so anyway that's my uh, it's a 72 C10 Chevy pickup truck and uh, I kind of like that it had the purple in it because the grave digger is purple and so it still goes with the green theme and everything that the grave digger has so and the purple looks better with the green anyway so anyway that's uh that's my Chevy pickup it's a Chevy now <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video thanks for watching